What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Volvo has revealed the Volvo EX30, their second next generation Volvo car, which is their smallest SUV, but it is big and features. So let me tell you a bit more. Alright guys, so this week Volvo revealed the Volvo EX30, their smallest SUV within the lineup. And good thing to know, the car is also immediately on sale. So whether you go to your dealership or online to volvocars.com, you are already able to order your Volvo EX30. Now the EX30 is based on the SEA platform we know from Geely, the owners of Volvo. And this platform is not unfamiliar because we also know it from the Smart Hashtag 1 and also the Zeker X coming soon to Europe. Now this means that the EX30 is designed as a pure electric car, which has some benefits over ICE cars, for example. Um, think about more interior space because of the electric platform with the batteries, the wheels can be more towards the front and the rear of the car which allows for more interior space, for example. But anyway, guys, the Volvo EX30 will get two battery packs. The first one is a 51 kilowatt hour battery, which will be connected to a single motor on the rear wheels of the EX30. Now, the second one is probably the most interesting version. That is the 69 kilowatt hour battery pack. And on that one, you can opt for a single motor on the rear wheels as well. That one will be called the single motor extended range. And you will also, if you want to drive a bit faster and all that, I have the availability of a twin performance version, basically a front motor and a rear motor. That one will do 0 to 62 miles an hour, 0 to 100 in 3.7 seconds. That's the fastest Volvo ever. Now there's plenty to know about both batteries on the EX30. So let's talk details also over here. So the single motor one, which is a 51 kilowatt hour battery, will have usable 49 kilowatt hour. The type of battery is an LFP. 400 volts and range according to Volvo that is based on the WLTP, the European norm for electric range and testing. The energy consumption at this moment is 16.7 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. Charging on AC, so 11 kilowatt is six hours and DC max charging will be 134 kilowatt. DC charging will take you 26 minutes. Then if we look at the single motor extended range, that is the 69 kilowatt hour battery pack of which usable 64. So that's quite a difference. Now the type of battery is an NMC, also 400 volts range, WLTP, 480 kilometers. Consumption 15.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. AC charging with 11 kilowatt hours will take you eight hours. Now you can also upgrade to a 22 kilowatt onboard charger, which will have the time of course, which is four hours. Max DC charging on the 69 kilowatt hour version is 153 kilowatts. So that's pretty quick and similar to the current C40 and XC40. Uh, model year 23 because 24 will already have a faster version. But anyway, also DC charging over here will take 26 and a half minutes. Then we also have the twin motor performance, which is pretty much the same. So 69 kilowatt hour battery, usable 64, NMC type 400 volts, range a bit less because of course you have all wheel drive. Well, when it's needed because the base or the standard uh, proportion of the dual motor setup on this one will be rear wheels. And when you need it or when you accelerate very fast, then the front motor will also kick in. But anyway, that will of course consume a little bit more. So 460 kilometers range, Consumption 16.3 kilowatt per 100 kilometers. AC 11 kilowatt will take you eight hours. Also four if you upgrade to that 22 kilowatt onboard charger. Max output DC 153 kilowatt. And also here 26 and a half minutes from 10% state of charge to 80% state of charge. Now what's interesting is the single motor 51 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's an LFP type of battery and Volvo states that this battery has the characteristic that you need to charge it to 100% pretty often because that apparently is good for the battery. Whilst we are, I think all are kind of used to the current C40 and XC40 recharge where they advise like charge it to 80 or 90% to preserve the battery for a longer lifetime. And with this 51 kilowatt hour battery pack, 
that's not the case. So over there you see a difference with the 69 kilowatt hour battery pack because over there they do still recommend to charge it to 80 or 90% state of charge, but that then is also an NMC type of battery. So interesting difference over there. Maybe also good to know is that the EX30 will not have vehicle to grid or vehicle to load capability. The EX90 will have that and the Polestar 3 also I believe, but the EX30 also being the base a volvo maybe now um yeah will not have that so if you are looking for that don't go for the ex30 then time for some performance figures let's talk uh, horsepower and torque and all that because the single motor 51 kilowatt hour battery pack will have 272 horsepower and 343 newton meters of torque 0 to 100 or 62 miles an hour 5.7 seconds so that's pretty quick and as every Volvo has nowadays, the limiter is set on 180 kilometers. Now the weight of the car is 1733 kilograms. And good to know over here, also the towing capacity is limited to 1000 kilograms. So with the base single motor battery pack, you aren't really able to tow a lot. Then with the single motor extended range, also 272 horsepower and 343 newton meters of torque. Now interestingly over here, it's a bit faster than the single motor with the 51 kilowatt hour battery pack. And that has to do with the battery of the extended range version being able to deliver the energy a bit more quick towards the engine or towards the electric motor. Hence you see 0.4 seconds uh, of a difference in the acceleration time from 0 to 162 miles an hour. Also limited on 180 kilometers an hour. Also same weight basically 1730 kilograms. And this one gets more interesting if you need to tow a lot because this one can hook you up with 1400 kilograms. And then the EX30 will be the fastest of Volvo ever with the twin performance setup. You will get a front electric motor 156 horsepower a rear electric motor with 272 horsepower if you combine that you get a 428 horsepower pack with 543 newton meters of torque that is plenty quick 0 to 62 or 100 kilometers an hour in 3.6 seconds the fastest of all ever but still limited to 180 kilometers an hour. Because this one has an electric motor also in the front, you will see that the car weighs a bit more because it's 1,843 kilograms and the tone capacity of this one, pretty good, 1,600 kilograms. Now the last few years, Volvo Cars is simplifying their product offer. And this is very well reflected on the Volvo EX30 because the choices, well, they are quite limited. In a nutshell, there are three trim versions you can opt for. The base version is a core, then you have the plus, and the most luxurious now is called Ultra and not Ultimate anymore. Yeah, uh, why I'm not sure. Now the core version is pretty well equipped already. So I'm gonna run you guys through some highlights of each trim. So the first one is the core that will feature the newly introduced on the EX90 safe space technology. Also adaptive cruise control, blind spot information system. Well, that's a good standard thing to have if you ask me. Also over here, Google is standard with the infotainment and maps basically. Then there is electric climate control one zone. In the plus and ultra you have a two zone one, but in this one, the one zone. Then the standard upholstery is the Indigo textile Nordico version. So the black with the dark blue jeans-ish kind of vibe. It will sit standard on 18 inch wheels, standard vapor gray metallic, the new metallic color we know from model year 23. Yeah, nice one to have. So not anymore a solid uh, base color, but you already get a metallic color on your car. And then also pretty useful, it will have park assist on the rear standard and also a camera. So um, yeah, that's just already very good for a core version. Now, if you want to spice things up a little bit, then there is the plus trim. With that, you get the digital key plus pack, which includes keyless drive, for example. On the core, you will also have this digital key, but not the plus pack. So that means that with the plus version, you can just walk up to the car. It will notice that you are near it by Bluetooth and all that magic. And then you simply pull the door handle and it will open with the digital key standard version. You will still need to uh, like swipe your phone close to the car or use that NFC card that will be with it or whatsoever to open up the car. So that's a bit of a difference. Then on the plus, you also get the next generation pilot assist, the Harman Kardon premium audio sound system, which is now a sound bar on the dashboard. So there aren't any speakers in the doors or in the rear. No, it's all in that big sound bar on the dashboard. That of course is good for the interior space and the door pockets and all that. There aren't any speakers up there. 
Same with the XC40 and C40, by the way. Yeah, that basically means that you can like store a laptop in it and whatsoever. So yeah, pretty useful. You will also get an electric tailgate, electric climate control, the two zone versions. So basically in the front you will have it and then also for the rear passengers. Now we know that all Volvo cars basically have those ventilation outlets in the center console at the rear part for the rear seat occupants. With the X30, that airflow will actually come from the front seats underneath it. So it will flow up to the passengers in the rear so that's a bit of a difference if you opt for the plus you will also get a onyx black roof mirrors exterior mirrors and a spoiler so the core will be one solid color and the plus and the ultra will have this dark or art design style black elements on the exterior which is if you ask me very nice then the plus will also sit standard on 19 inch wheels so that's pretty cool and also with this one you will get park assist in the front so you have sensors in the front the back and a camera so that's already super useful now, if you want to go for the full enchilada, then there is the ultra version and that includes a sunroof or a panoramic sunroof, which is fixed. You cannot open it. Same with the C40, for example. Also electric adjustable front seats, four-way adjustable lumbar supports for the driver, not the passenger. A 360 cam with, for the first time at the Volvo, a view for the 360 cam and also for the rear camera. So we were kind of complaining maybe about that, us that have the 360 camera, you only have the top view. And if you go to the front or the rear camera, you only see that and not the 360 anymore. With the EX30, that problem is solved. Now it will also have side park assist, park assist pilot, where apparently this is also a next generation version that will even be able to park your EX30 upside down if you want that. And then the Ultra will also have the 22 kilowatt AC onboard charger. Then there's also a climate pack, which includes two heated front seats and a heated steering wheel. And there's only one option available, and that is the tinted windows at the rear. So basically the black tinted windows. Um, yeah, if you like that. Okay, so that's the exterior for the EX30. Now there are some options, of course, left, uh, color, wheels, and upholstery, which we will touch on next. But anyway, the Volvo EX30 will have five colors. Two new one. Um, the first one is the introduction color of the X30, which is cloud blue. We kind of already know that one from the model year 2440 series, for example. The other one is also a very nice and bright one. And finally, not a gray or blackish, and that is moss yellow. A very bright yellowish um, color inspired by the moss on the west coast of Sweden. Yeah. Then there are three colors left. The first one is the vapor gray metallic, uh, the standard color of the car. Onyx black, so full black car you will get, and also the crystal white metallic, which I also have on my uh, C40, looks really nice. Then there are three new wheel designs, 18, 19 and 20 inch wheel. The 18 inch is standard for the core, the 19 for the Plus and Ultra, and you can opt for the 20, of course. They will all have their own glossy blackish aero cover, so basically a cover plastic they put onto the wheel to improve the aerodynamic and efficiency, electric efficiency of the car reduce drag basically so that looks kind of interesting of course you can pull those aero covers off then you see the real wheel um, i haven't seen any pictures of that wheel underneath it yet now there's also a rumor about an accessory an aero cover which will fit or match the color of your car so perhaps if you have a moss yellow ex30 you will have like this aero cover option with moss yellow details on it maybe a bit like the lincoln cozio one has with that blue element in the wheel something like that then let's have a look on the interior of the volvo x30 because well there has changed a lot if you are used to a 40 series or 60s or whatsoever the x30 interior is very well, scandinavian minimalistic uh, design with lots of recycled elements in it so that's pretty cool also i think volvo is focusing on lately a lot and you see a very basic well center screen which is also the the instrument panel you can do everything over there and then also what stands out is that harman kardon soundbar of course if you opt for that on the dashboard now as for interior lighting our prayers have finally been heard by sweden because volvo has really upgraded the interior light themes of the car with the current generation volvos the choice was very limited we used to have like a few colors then they removed that whole option now it's just some light on the dashboard but now with the ex30 you will have five teams to choose from if you opt for light pack 2 so the car will have standard light pack 1 if you upgrade that to light pack 2 you get those five themes they are called Northern Light, Archipelago, Forest Bath, Midsummer, and Nordic Twilight. Basically, they are all inspired on Swedish themes around the year. They do look very cool and they are all kind of made to also reflect the upholstery of your car. So one will probably fit very well 
with your um, fine interior or whatsoever. So that's pretty cool. Now the steering wheel is also a thing I'm very excited about because well it's a very compact steering wheel but if you pay close attention you will see that the top and the bottom of the steering wheel is actually flat. So that's very cool. Now also interestingly enough you have two stocks at the steering wheel still but then the right one is now for the gear so park drive reverse neutral and the left stock is for your wipers, your indicators, lights etc. Now the buttons on the steering wheel they can adapt themselves to the well the desire of the driver so on the left side you will have the safety and assistance options buttons basically and on the right side the ones for the infotainment so lower volume next song etc now on the left part there will be one button apparently which will have a favorite setting so you can change that one yeah to the thing you would like to have on the steering wheel so Pretty cool. Now the front seats are inspired on the 40 series Volvo in the current offer. Now to give a bit of a sporty element to have integrated the headrest into the seat. Now all in all there are four upholsteries you can opt from. The first one is the standard one called Indigo. Then you also have Pine, Breeze and Mist. The Indigo version is the standard one, looks very good. But then with the Pine, Breeze and Mist you will also have the upholstery fitted on the rear part of the front seats. So the Indigo will not have that. With the Pine, Breeze and Mist the upholstery will be well, included around the whole seat. And you will also have a back pocket in the seat and also a special small pocket to fit in an iPhone. So if you think that's really important then do not opt for the Indigo but go for one of the three others. Now as I said already Indigo is the standard one. This is a textile and Nordico interior with denim jeans, former jeans recycled apparently and the air vents are well finished in a bluish kind of color. Then we also have the Pine which is a Nordico and tailored wool blend interior looks very cool the air vents are just well transparent normal and the rear side of the front seats as i said already will be fitted with upholstery or textile whatsoever and will also have this storage uh, pocket on the rear side third one is the breeze which is also a textile nordico interior particle inserts i believe that's the one they also showed during the reveal of the car also here the air vents are in blue and then the fourth one is the mist which is basically a tailored wool blend upholstery we kind of know from the current volvos as well the air vents are just transparent, normal, and yeah, this one is also the most expensive one. It's only for the Ultra and will set you back 1250 euros. That's in the Netherlands, of course, that can differ per country. Now the EX30 interior is very versatile and very practical. It's a small SUV, but due to clever design, it's actually a quite spacious cabin to be in. For example, the glove box compartment, normally on the right side, or basically in front of the passenger front seat, is now integrated into the dashboard in the center so that both the driver and the passenger can reach it very easily. Also in the middle there's no big middle tunnel center console whatsoever. Now underneath there is space for two phones. If you use a plus or ultra package there is a possibility to charge one phone wireless over there. And then in between the front seats there is this storage compartment which you can also move over. And by the way this is from plus and ultra. There will be some kind of extra storage compartment in it. Uh, basically a, well, a double layer. And under the armrest over there there are two cup holders which you can like shove out and move and adjust. You can also take out the cup holder part of it and then you just have a big box underneath it. It can also shove it back into the armrest to have only one part of it exposed or whatsoever. So it's very adjustable to your liking. Also pretty cool, as we kind of already spotted on the spy shots of the X30 a few months ago, the buttons for the windows are not anymore on the left and right side of the doors. No, they are now also in the center console. Of course, that is also good for the space in the doors. Now underneath the armrest, there's also something for the rear passengers because over there, there's this small compartment or box you can take out. And if you pay close attention to that, you will see a little Swedish element, a moose, um, displayed over there. Kind of cool and kind of reminds me of the XC90 of the current generation with that little spider at the 6th and 7th seat. If you go very far back in time, also the 850 have had that on some kind of chip or whatsoever, a small moose, I believe. But yeah, cool um, Easter egg. Maybe then also let's talk a little bit about storage. The EX30 will have a frunk um, and total capacity of 19 liters. But if you put like those one liter blocks into it, then according to Volvo, there will fit seven into it. So good for a dirty charging cable, maybe your shoes if you've been running in the woods or whatsoever. So something like that, just pretty small. Then in the back, the luggage compartment will have 318 liters of space. That's not the most. Also taking into account that there is like this removable floor in it, of which underneath is 61 liters. So you kind of need to take out that floor to get that full 318 liters of volume. 
in the back. So yeah, that's not the most. But then again, Volvo states that they designed this, this luggage compartment very clever. An example of that is that, for example, the springs of the rear wheels, that whole technical part over there, does not protrude into the luggage compartment. So they designed it that way that it stays out and that did not take any volume away from it. So that again then is a good thing. I think I really need to see the car in person to be able to judge like, okay, will our dog fit into it properly or is it just too cramped up there? So to be continued. Now, if things aren't cool enough already, as you heard me say quite a lot, Volvo will also offer a Volvo EX30 cross country version of it. Awesome. So this cross country version will be an additional trim on the X30. So later on this year, we will probably get Core Plus, Ultra, and then also the cross country version. That will have some extra plastic parts around basically, looks a bit more rugged. Then you also will have an accessory of special off-road wheels and also this cool roof rack, which you must get if you opt for this car. But anyway, looking at the pictures, it looks very promising. And big shout out to the designers and the management team of Volvo, you know, keeping this heritage also um, with the modern cars. The cross country has been with us with Volvo since the 90s, the V70 XC back then. And, you know, I'm happy that they are keeping a bit or some sort of Volvo heritage on their current Volvo lineup. But anyway, the car will be on offer later this year and production will probably start after the normal production of the EX30. So I think you can expect it maybe like Q3 or Q4 next year, 2024. So I think it will be a little while out still. But anyway, it's a cool thing to look forward to. Now guys, there is so much more to tell about the Volvo EX30. So I will make more videos about it. One about all the safety systems of this car because there is a lot happening. And also a video about the things you should know about the EX30. Smallest SUV yet, it's their standard or base product now. So there are some things you should keep in mind with this car. But there are also many cool aspects on this car, which I will share in that video as well. Two teasers maybe. There will be a button on the steering wheel to turn on and off your one pedal driving. Finally. And this next generation pilot assist of the EX30 will have this option, distance to truck in which you can tell the car how much distance to a car next to you or a truck next to you when overtaking with pilot assist on, uh, the car basically needs to have. Because with the current pilot assist, the cars tend to be quite close to the center of a two lane road. They were often pretty close to a car next to you or a truck. So pretty cool, right? There is much more to know about that. So stay tuned for that for my next videos. But anyway, guys, that is the Volvo EX30 in a bit of a nutshell. There's so much to tell. I already mentioned that, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. In two weeks, I will have a moment myself with the Volvo EX30. So a live video from the car is coming very soon to the channel. So stay tuned for that as well. Do you have any questions about the car? Because there is so much to know about it. Leave them down in the comments down below and I will answer them happily for you. And besides that, let me know what you think of this video. Give it a like, subscribe and all that. I'm looking forward to the X30 a lot. And meanwhile, if you want to be up to date with the latest Volvo, Polestar, Geely, Lincoln Co. news, make sure you also follow me on Instagram at tom.love. Over there, uh, up to date news. And over here on the channel, of course, a weekly video on Sunday. Anyway, guys, I see you in the next video. Bye bye.